Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be doing something a little different than normal. We're going to compare the same model side by side, just a different model year. On the left side we have the 2017 TLX, which is the same as the 2015 and 2016 before it. And on the right we have the refreshed 2018 model with a ton of changes. Hopefully this video will help you decide if it's time to upgrade from your current TLX. Or if you're just now looking at the TLX, whether you should try to get a good deal on the remaining 17s or get the extra features of the 18s. Let's get started. So the big and most obvious change is the addition of the new A-spec trim level. It offers a whole lot of changes over not just the 17, but also the other 2018 trims. No matter what trim you select, all models get a new diamond pentagon grille. You don't need me to tell you it's more aggressive looking, and I'd imagine probably less controversial as well. The lighting has seen a small revision, with new LED turn signals running above the 5 July lights. As far as the lower fascia is concerned, Regular TLXs have a little bit of a different look than this A-spec, since they are more similar to the outgoing model. While some of the other trims keep the same wheels, you can now get these 19-inch alloys, the biggest wheels ever available on the TLX. The Advance also now gets its own unique 18-inch wheels, whereas they used to be the same as on the other V6 trims. One thing they changed on the safety front is that all the active safety technologies are standard on every TLX. On the 2017, you have to go all the way up to the Advance trim to unlock them all. And by the way, the pricing has not increased very much. The base model increases by exactly $1,000, but the tech package actually decreases in price, as does the super handling all-wheel drive option. In the rear, there are also significant changes, especially when compared to the A-Spec. Just like the front, there are two versions of the rear, both which now have exposed exhaust, something the 2017 never had. Under the hood, nothing has changed mechanically, but for some reason both the 4-cylinder and V6 front-wheel drive models lose 1 mile per gallon combined for 2018. Now let's move on to check out some of the interior changes. The changes inside weren't quite as big as on the outside, but there are still plenty of new features all around the cabin. The one I'm sure you are noticing is the new red interior, now available on the A-Spec. The seats themselves now have power thigh extension on V6 models, and 2018 adds contrast piping and stitching. The other trims besides the base model now get more premium Milano leather for 2018. The electronic shifter carries over for 2018, and so does the backup camera on most models. The Advance, however, gets a 360 degree surround view camera system now. As far as other tech upgrades go, there are several. For one, the USB port in the center tub is now a higher voltage for charging, and a wireless charging pad is also in this area if you have a compatible device. The biggest difference is something you can't see more processing power for the infotainment system. 
the bottom screen especially moves a lot faster than in the 2017s, which is really important since critical controls like the climate live here. The graphics have also been redesigned as well, so you don't have to click into each section to make changes. The rest of the infotainment system also received the same changes, better looking graphics and faster performance. The biggest new feature, however, is the addition of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, a first for Acura. Everything else in the cabin stays more or less the same, so now let's check out the back seats. There are a couple new features back here I want to point out. For one, the rear doors now have smart sensors for 2018. As far as other changes go, you have the same Milano leather seats, but they are now heated on advanced trims. Well, that pretty much concludes our tour of the 2018 Acura TLX changes. Hopefully this was helpful for you, and if it was, then please like and subscribe. Take care, and see you next time.